Item number SCP-1279 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Each instance of SCP-1279 is to be contained in a reinforced steel container in Storage Unit of Site-87. Two security officers are to guard these instances at all times. No canines are to be brought within a meter of any SCP-1279 instance unless specifically authorized. Any testing involving SCP-1279 must be authorized by at least one member of Level 3 personnel. SCP-1279 is the collective term for six leather dog collars. A tag reading Dog Inc. Dog Process Collar is present on each instance of SCP-1279. No anomalous physical properties are present in SCP-1279 instances and their anomalous properties do not become apparent until an SCP-1279 instance is worn by any form of canine. Any canine wearing an instance of SCP-1279, hereafter referred to as SCP-1279-1, will be perceived by any individuals who encounter it as being of human-level intelligence. They will still be aware that SCP-1279-1 is in fact a canine but they will internally anthropomorphize SCP-1279-1, believing that it is capable of speech and reasoning. Individuals will not consider encountering what they believe is a sapient canine to be abnormal, and will behave as if it were a common occurrence. This perception of anthropomorphic qualities will often result in individuals feeding SCP-1279-1 meals intended for humans, and occasionally clothing them in garments intended for humans. See image. Removal of SCP-1279 from SCP-1279-1 results in affected individuals once again perceiving SCP-1279-1 as a normal canine. Interviewer Dr. Matthews Interview Dr. Gregson One instance of SCP-1279-1, Hank, was present at the interview. After the interview, both Dr. Matthews and Dr. Gregson recorded their respective perception of what had been said. This was in an effort to demonstrate the effect that SCP-1279-1 instances have on the way they are perceived. Interviewer's Perspective Hello. Hi. Hello, Doctor. How are you? I'm fine. What? I said I'm fine. I was talking to Hank. Oh, I didn't hear him. Sorry. I said I was sorry, Hank. I don't think Hank minds, Tom. No, no, it's fine, honestly. No need to fly off the handle, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. How long's it been? 50 seconds. Uh, about a minute, give or take? Yes, I'm sure. Well, I think that should be all we need, to be honest. Yes, that sounds fun. It's fine, Hank. We can just do it again if it's not enough. End interview. Interviewee's perspective. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm fine. What? I said I'm fine. I was talking to Hank. Oh, I didn't hear him. Sorry. Well, you should have been listening then, shouldn't you? Idiot. I said I was sorry, Hank. I don't think Hank minds, Tom. How'd you even get this job? Isn't your job to pay attention? No need to fly off the handle, Hank. <sighs> <laughs> Good one. How long's it been? God only knows. Uh, about a minute, give or take. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Well, I think that should be all we need, to be honest. That doesn't seem long enough for proper research, does it? It's fine, Hank. We can just do it again if it's not enough. I suppose. End interview. SCP-1279 was discovered after reports of a talking dog were received from an anonymous informant. When agents arrived at the location and recovered the instance of SCP-1279-1, it had been arrested by a police officer for public indecency, referring to the canine's lack of clothing. Several instances of SCP-1279 were found scattered in the surrounding area, along with the following note. Now your dog too can be a member of the household. 
Are you ever sick of your dog anti-working for its pay and food upkeep? Well, worry no more, loyal consumer. Our new dog process color will make your dog a fruitful member of society. Society needs upkeeping, loyal, hard-worker citizens to feed the fields, right the offices, and keep your streets safe. Perhaps your dog would be a fireman, stopping the fire from betraying you and your loyal family. Or a police officer, stopping criminal dogs from destroying the peace of a neighborhood. Not all dogs are good dogs. Perhaps he would be a doctor dog, making open the dogs that have suffered from a terrible mess. Whatever your dog's life chooses to become, it is only due to you, faithful dog owner, purchasing the fine product of Dog Inc. Dog Inc. Knows quasi-canes. 